Okay, here we go with a uh, basic introduction to Python coding for beginners. Um, to do this, we're going to use something called uh, repl.it. So if you go to that website, uh, this will make sure it'll work on all computers. So we're going to go to here where it says search for a language, and we are going to choose Python 3. And Python's a great uh, language for beginners to begin with. Now here to ask you if you want to sign up for an account, we're just going to skip that for now. You can, so you can save your work, uh, but we're just going to uh, skip that for now. And what you'll see is on your left side of the screen, you have a nice little coding environment. And on your right side of your screen, you'll have a kind of virtual terminal. Um, so you can see here it's Python 3.5 running on uh, some sort of, uh, I assume, simulated a Linux distro. So uh, let's get started and uh, learning uh, again some uh, Python concepts. Again, this is not meant to be exhaustive, learn everything in Python, but it will introduce you to some uh, important principles that you can use to build on later. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, well, I'm going to introduce, oops, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Christian, and I have a blog at uh, uh, christianthompson.com. Uh, oops, you can also find me on Twitter at, at oops, that's a nice little thing, uh, at uh, Christian, oops, nope, sorry, it's not Christian, it's Tokyo EdTech. So I am a, a teacher of computers and uh, things programming related. Uh, so this is actually our first lesson. Um, so here is a little bit of Python code. Um, we have a hashtag followed by some text. And what that is called, it is a comment. So comments are not run by the computer. Uh, sorry, so comments are not run by the computer. This is a comment. And so this is just for humans to read. Uh, computers don't really understand the comments because they don't speak English. So if I actually go ahead and run my program, we'll look over here. And you'll see absolutely nothing happened, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now we're going to change all that. We're going to go on to our next uh, lesson, which is about printing. Okay, so I'll just call this printing. Why am I printing? Okay, so printing. This is how we put something onto the screen. So we'll see that over here in the uh, terminal. So uh, it's basically it's print. And then in Python 3, you have to have parentheses. And it's good practice to get into if you're ever using Python uh, 2. And here is, I'm going to say lesson 2, uh, printing. OK, so I'm going to hit Run. And you'll see over on the right, lesson 2, printing. So a couple key things here. Uh, whatever you see in the quotation marks is what's printed on the screen. If I forget to put the last quotation mark, which is called a closing quotation mark, and hit Run, you'll see an error. And Python's pretty good about telling you like what kind of error and uh, where that error might be. So if you take a look here, it says line 5, which is where we see our little error. And Replit has a, a nice little helper here. EOL while scanning string literal, literal uh, which tells you there's a problem at the end of the line. And also over here, you see a little caré, and it's kind of pointing, hey, something's wrong over here. So let's uh, put that quotation mark back in. Oops, uh, where are the quotation marks on this computer? OK, because I'm using a different language keyboard. Sorry about that. Uh, so now if I put it back and run it, it comes up lesson two printing. Uh, so let's try a couple other things. Uh, here is the stereotypical beginner thing. Every beginning programmer types the infamous hello world line. And let's test it. Okay, so it's getting very exciting. Couple th or one little thing here. Um, you notice I have a double quote here. I could also oops, I could also use single quotes if I wanted to. It doesn't have to be double quotes. But whatever you use, I would probably just try to keep it consistent. Uh, I tend to use double quotes because that's just what I'm used to. And okay, again, remember the computer is skipping these lines, so you can just. Yeah, it's just there for human beings. So let's take a look at printing. Uh, okay, now this is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, we can also combine different things. So you notice I had a hello, and I'm going to actually use the plus sign and world again with exclamation point. And I'm going to run that. 
Now you notice it printed hello world, but there's a little bit of a difference. There's no space here. So we've combined these two, uh, they're called strings, I'll talk about that in the next lesson. Um, but they're, combined, they're called strings, they are text information, and you notice that there's no space. If I wanted to put a space, I'd have to either put it here, let's test that, or I could put it here, okay, or I could get all fancy, I could throw another one in, uh, I could put double quotes, and then just put a space like that and run it. But it's, you know, it's however you want to do it, it's fine. Or maybe you don't need that in whatever situation you're using. Now notice I skipped a line there. Um, well, here's something interesting. I'll, I'll just skip some lines and then run it again. Okay, notice the spacing over here has nothing to do with the spacing over here. This is our uh, program. This is the actual output of the program. But it's always good to, to practice good spacing and just make things clear. Okay, so now I'm going to try and print a number. And I'm going to print 2. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I got my 2. Notice there are no quotation marks. And now I'm going to print 2 with quotations. So far, so good. Looking good. Uh, and there's a reason I'm doing it this way, which will become evident you know, later. And now I'm going to print 2.0 and print 2.0 in quotation marks and run it. Okay, so far so good. Everything looks the same to me. Uh, now I'm going to try, now this is where it gets a little interesting. Print 2 uh, plus 2 and I'm going to run that. So we should see hopefully 4 is what you're thinking. Good. Uh, now this is where it gets kind of interesting. So print, so this is going to show you that quotation marks are really important. Now if I put these in quotation marks and run it, it prints exactly what's here, just like we did up here. So when you have quotation marks, it is printing the, the literal text of what you typed. Now let's try this, 2 plus 2. So notice the plus sign is not inside the quotation marks inside the quotation marks, it's actually between. Okay, so let's run that again. Now see that, it's not four, it's two and two, because these are strings, and I'll talk about that again in a f future lesson. And we're gonna have the same thing basically with 2.0 plus 2.0, uh, print uh, 2.0 uh, 2 plus 2.0 in quotation marks, and print 2.0 with quotation marks plus 2.0. Okay, and I'm going to run that. Okay, so you can see the difference. Okay, here we've got 4.0 because there's no quotation marks. It's treating these as numbers. Here we have quotations at the beginning and the end, so we get the exact output. And here we've got a little bit of text combined called concatenation, combine with a little bit of text, and it comes out just like that, Okay, which probably isn't that useful for many cases, but it's good to be prepared. Okay, so that is a very quick introduction to how we can actually put information onto the screen. So give that a shot, you know, play around with it, and give it a little bit of practice.